One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak is a social deduction game for three to seven players. It can be played both on its own or in conjunction with components found in the original One Night Ultimate Werewolf. This video will explain each of the game's 11 roles. For a basic overview of how to play, see the basic overview video. As with the original One Night Ultimate Werewolf game, players can make the night phase easier by getting the free One Night Ultimate Werewolf smartphone application. One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak includes three werewolf roles, the Alpha Wolf, the Mystic Wolf, and the Dream Wolf. The Dream Wolf doesn't wake up with the other werewolves. Instead, the Dream Wolf holds out his thumb during this phase so that any other werewolf will know who he is, but he will not know who the other werewolves are. The Alpha Wolf requires extra setup. In addition to the three unclaimed roles in the center, add an extra werewolf card perpendicular to them. After the werewolf phase, the Alpha Wolf wakes a second time. Then he switches the unclaimed werewolf card with another player's card. When the Mystic Wolf wakes, she looks at one other player's card. When the Sentinel wakes, he places a shield token on another player's card. This token prevents any player from moving or looking at the card under it. When the Apprentice Seer wakes, she can look at one card in the center. When the Paranormal Investigator wakes, he may look at up to two players' cards. If he views a Werewolf or Tanner card, he cannot view any more cards, and he becomes a werewolf or tanner. The witch may look at one card in the center. If she does, she then swaps that card with another player's card. When the village idiot wakes, he may move all players' cards one space to the left or right. The village idiot cannot move his own card or any card with a shield token on it. The revealer turns over one player's card. If the card is a werewolf or a tanner, the revealer must turn the card face down again. If it is not, the card remains revealed during the day phase. The bodyguard doesn't wake during the night. Instead, whichever player the bodyguard points to during the vote cannot be killed. If the bodyguard points at the player with the most votes, kill the player with the second most votes instead. The curator takes an artifact token and puts it on another player's card. If a player wakes with an artifact token, they look at it at the start of the day. They are not allowed to show their artifact to other players, but can say whatever they like about the token so long as they don't violate its effect. The Void of Nothingness has no effect. A player with the Mask of Muting can't speak. They are still allowed to gesture or use other means of communication. A player with the Shroud of Shame must turn away from the table. A player who finds the Claw of the Werewolf becomes a werewolf. A player who finds the Brand of the Villager becomes a villager and a player who finds the cudgel of the tanner becomes a tanner. If the artifact changes the player's role, it completely overrides the player's card. They no longer have any abilities or affiliations associated with their card. This completes our explanation of all the roles in One Night Ultimate Werewolf Daybreak. For an overview of the game's basics, see our basic overview video. This has been a Clever Move Quick Play. For more board game information, news, and fun, visit clevermovegames.com.